All right, finally. There, I got the right buttons pressed. Mike is talking about uh, inflation, deflation, and this graph, he's just showing the amount of currency in circulation. Uh, as you can see right there, that's where the, he said QE1, just, you know, doubled the amount of currency in. And, uh, yeah, just past 2020, right there, that big spike. You know, as a gamer, when I see a spike like that, it's usually a, um, a difficulty spike. And it rams right the fuck up your ass. So, I see that. And it's the same damn difference, cause it's a it's a spike right up everyone's ass. I've been watching for the last month or three, three months. Mike, you you haven't talked about the tax rate that individuals like you and I pay on the goods and on our annual fucking taxes and all that bullshit. You know, what good is paying those taxes when it's not doing jack shit right now? What are those taxes even going to? We already know what they're going to. <laughs> they're going to pay the assholes who are sitting on their asses doing jack fuck all shit while this situation just spirals out of control. And uh, here locally where I am the tax rate and this is one of the richest counties I'm in one of the fucking richest in the state and the tax rate has went from 7% a few years ago to now it's 10% 10 fucking percent it's rapidly becoming equivalent to income tax which is somewhere between 30 and 50 percent. And what happens after this situation goes the fuck away? What happens to the fucking local, state, and federal tax rates then that we have to pay? How much more is it going to be then? I mean, you guys, you're all looking at what's going on right now, but what the, what the fuck about... What happens after this situation's done with? You're talking about companies that are going to be zombified fucking shells of a company that just sit there and do nothing and absorb fucking money. That's our tax money that they're fucking absorbing. Like the fucking, uh, the travel industries and the fucking luxury cruise industries. They're just going to be sitting there absorbing fucking money out of our fucking taxes. Where's our fucking tax break? Because they're getting a tax break off of our fucking taxes. But then again, you've got CEOs, and I can point to people and name names like Bobby Kotick in the video game industry who never pay taxes. So Mike with gold and silver, why don't you look at that shady shit for a minute? Why don't you talk about what the fuck needs to happen with that shit? Because assholes like Bobby Kotick and Toral Fjernstrom, they just need to be fucking killed. Especially since 2018, late 2018, the federal government applied a taxation to video game transactions on Microsoft. It used to be I could get a $50 uh, card from for Xbox and that would be a whole year's worth of time. That went up to $60 because the federal government placed a taxation on it. Where does this fucking shit show of taxation end? Where the fuck does it end? They're taxing the food we fucking buy. They're taxing our existence just because we're alive. 
They're taxing the money we fucking earn. Where does this fucking taxation end? Because they're treating us like a fucking Roth IRA. That thing gets taxed all the way down to the last fucking nickel. We're humans. Well, not me. But you, you motherfuckers are humans. I'm just trapped in a human body. We're living beings. We're not a fucking Roth IRA. Why the fuck are we being taxed on the money we make, on the money we spend, and on the money we save? Why are we being quadruple and hexuple taxed? Who the fuck is going to talk about that shit? Mike? With gold and silver? Hey, that's your belly wig, man. That's your fucking shtick. Get the fuck on it. Because covering this situation every day is getting fucking boring to me, dude. Yeah, I know. I've seen that graph you're showing. <clears throat> I'll show you. Yeah, that? I've seen that. Fucking six times already. I'm bored of looking at it, Mike. Yeah, I get it. You want to make videos and keep everybody up to date, but showing the same damn shit every fucking day and using synonyms to explain it, which is different words with the exact same fucking meaning, that's just boring to me, okay? Explain about taxing the individual and how that needs to go the fuck away. <clears throat> because it's either you tax me on the purchases I make, you tax me on the fucking money I make, or you tax me on the savings I make. Not all fucking three. Because the money you make, the money you spend, the money you save in a regular bank account, the money you save... And your fucking uh, brokerage accounts, 401ks, IRAs, Roth IRAs, which gets taxed all the way down to the last fucking nickel. Yeah, you know, that's five, six, seven. That's seven different ways they tax the individual. <clears throat> and then let's talk about the scams such as insurance. The amount of times I've been in a car wreck and needed insurance is zero. Absolute fucking zero. I've never been in a car wreck. Never. I've had them happen close to me. I've watched them happen. I've seen the aftermath of them happening, but I've always been attentive of attentive enough not to be in a car wreck so I don't need to be taxed in that regard for some con artist to sit in a fucking cubicle and make money and that's exactly the scam that's going on with all what you call money in forms of currency it's all the same fallacy to me it has no real value gold silver paper currency, the Zimbabwe dollar, the American dollar, a lump of fucking platinum, a diamond, it's all fucking a physical piece of material that's meaningless. It doesn't mean jack fucking shit. The phone I'm recording on, the computer I'll be uploading on, well technically it's a laptop, my Xbox, it's, it's a fucking lump of material. It doesn't mean jack shit. Mike, wake your fucking ass up, okay? Money and currency are the same circle jerk fallacy, okay? They don't mean shit. Stop thinking they do, because they fucking don't. You know what means something? Honor, discipline, respect, self-control, family. Which is what everyone on this fucking planet should be focused on, as opposed to this fucking financial shit show. And this is things that I've known for 20 plus years. Family means more than money. That's why there's this saying, blood is thicker than water. What the fuck is wrong with all of you? Your entire species, humanity, you're all one big fucking family. Why the fuck are you acting like you're separate? 
Why are you setting all these fake ass boundaries between you, like money, and politics, and bureaucracy, and rich and poor? Yeah, fuck all of you, and fuck off. <laughs>